it's how I drink my coffee. We only had the really thin plant milk that I put in my smoothies in the fridge and I don't like that in my coffee because all it does, it, make, it kind of just makes it a murky colour. It doesn't really do anything. So Anyway, I went to do that, but by the time I got there, I was so in need of a cup of coffee that I may have caved and gone in to Starbucks and bought one, as well as my own. So anyway, I am running errands at the moment. I am just off to our local feed store. I really love it there because it's all horsey, but I'm going there to buy dog food. So I have two dogs for anyone that doesn't know. One is 12 called Gatsby and one is three called Trixie, but they are both Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. He's giant and she's tiny. Nobody knows why. <laughs> so he has to have the kind of food that keeps him full because he is insanely food motivated. And if he doesn't, then he is just extra enthusiastic about scavenging and begging and all that fun stuff that they do. She is a complete princess and will only have the stuff out of the tins. And I should really find some way of getting this stuff delivered because then it would save me errands, but I don't. So I'm off to do that. Then I'm gonna walk the dogs and then I'm going to go and get the compost that I need and attempt to mulch my roses, possibly trim some of them back a bit. I'm gonna start with the ones in the front garden because my back garden is currently <laughs> so depressing. Um, then I, and I'm also gonna get enough compost to have it ready for when I get around to doing my dahlias, which I might start today, you never know, but I'm kind of doubting it. It's actually been really weird and interesting doing these six days of Vlogmas so far. So today is the seventh day, isn't it? I've kind of been enlightened as to how I spend my time and where my days go and why I have this feeling like I'm never getting any work done. It's because I just I've got so many kind of daily tasks that have to be done. So, you know, we do need to eat and I do have to clean and all that other stuff. And it just seems to and take up a lot of time. And the, and the driving, I drive a lot. And it's strange that just recording this stuff has just made it all more obvious to me. I don't know why that would be because, you know, I do it every day. You think it would be obvious to me. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of clarified things. But um, even if I'm not actually actively looking after one of the boys, there's just so many other processes required. So I need to, I think I really do need to sit down and kind of timetable myself and streamline, try and streamline things like reducing the number of errands I have to run and that kind of thing. I do try and do online groceries and stuff, but notoriously we run out of things and you know, I don't know. I, I think I could be more efficient in that respect. So, um, I will bring you along, I'll show you the feed store. I was toying with the idea of getting a new bird feeder because our one that holds the sunflower seeds kind of died, but I'm not sure, I can't decide. We, we took it down in the end, not really because it was, it was partly broken, but we mainly took it down because we had rats and I don't really want to encourage them, but I really do want to feed the birds, so I don't know. I love watching them. I've got the flutter butter on the window, which I filled up yesterday, which is amazing because they come right up to the window on that. But that's only really mainly blue tits, so I don't know. I don't think I'll do that today. I think I'm gonna have a think about that. But I'm definitely getting the dog food, definitely going for a walk, and definitely getting some compost. So that's what you can look forward to.
You can't capture it on video really, but the sun shining through the trees is just magical. A walk in the woods during the day is always so reinvigorating and refreshing and it just sort of resets your mood and having weather like this does not hurt. I made Trixie her little coat. It's made out of some Liberty cotton, but it's not tarn a lawn. It's, it's, a, it's like a, nearly a denim and it's really, really tough, canvasy kind of fabric like that. And then it's quilted and the fabric on the underside that it's quilted with is a corduroy. So it's really cozy. It's got wadding in the middle, but she outgrew it after she was spayed. She did fill out a little bit. So I just recently added some new poppers so that it's got a bit more room in, but she really, really likes being cozy, that dog. She always wants to go under blankets and stuff. So I'm thinking about missing her a little jumper. And I might knit one for Gatsby too, because he's an old bear. He probably wants a nice cozy jumper. What do you think, Gatsby? His coat I did not make, and it kind of falls off. So I think you need a new coat, don't you, Gatsby? Because you outgrew your last one that I made you. Our walks around here are so different than where we used to live. Where we used to live, we, uh, we were by a park so we were really lucky and it was lovely. It was, it was Wandsworth Park and it was down by the river in Putney. And, but you'd always see so many people and so many dogs and you'd get to know people, not normally their names, but you'd know their dog's names and you'd chat with them every day. Whereas here, you come on a walk and I mean, literally 99.9% .9 of the time, you never see another soul. So it's really different, but um, both, both are nice and yeah I kind of I do miss my Putney walks with Gatsby but this is just gorgeous here so so beautiful Johnny is just carrying his mittens <laughs> he just refuses to keep them on which is not really going to do the trick little man is it although actually his hands are really cozy they're really cozy aren't they really cozy really cozy mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.
succession of compost and I think I'm going to just pop a bit on the roses out the front but not really do much else because it is so cold <laughs> and I've been outside quite a lot already today and I'm kind of just desperate to get inside and do something insidey so but I will just drag them out the car and just quickly pop it on their roots and then I'll at least feel like I've done something in the long list of gardening tasks I have. I've put Jan's coat on on top of my coat because it's so cold. I'm not cold anymore though. I'm going to leave the leaves in that have gathered in the pots because they will just rot down. I'll put the, I got stable manure and I'm just going to put that on top of that but I'm going to try and pick through and get at least the majority of the acorns out because those things seem to just root really really easily and then they're a pain to pull up because they they get really strong and so yes i try and do that but there's so many this year i know there's not going to be any leaving the leaves in because look they are just a blanket of acorns in there and they're already doing this so i'm just gonna have to pull everything off the top layer what a mess I'm a bit muddy now and a bit out of breath but I have mulched all my roses in pots at the front of the house and the moon is out I'm gonna see if I can capture it hang on do you think that's a full moon full full moon looks pretty full to me very bright too I think that means it's time for me to go inside and warm up and have a cup of hot tea but I'm just going to show you quickly what I've managed to quickly do. I need to come and actually blow away the leaves and then gather some up and I think I'm going to try and make leaf mulch um, but this is Aphrodite I haven't cut her back but I've mulched her. This is Lady Gravel again I haven't cut her back she's still looking quite happy but I have mulched her this is strawberry hill she's really happy i did cut a few branches off here and there but mainly i've left her this is emily bronte she's looking okay roald dahl was looking less than happy so i have cut him back the christmas tree i have cleared of debris from where she was sat around the side i really need to come out here i don't know what happened there but i need to come and scrub it down because it looks awful um, so she has now been cleared and she's ready to have some little lights put on. Transferred Jack's things that he grew at Gardening Club into that little terracotta pot because they were just in a plastic pot. Swept this step. This is Shropshire Lad. He's not that happy, but he was earlier in the year, so I think it'll be all right. It's just end of season, isn't it? So I've mulched him and I'll leave him there. And then over here, I've got 
the Olmwick Rose, Scepted Isle and a Shepherdess and I've mulched all of those. This is I believe the Queen of Sweden or Shepherdess, I get confused. She needs a new pot so I'm going to do that in the spring and put her on the patio so I've put, popped a bit of mulch in there for now but yes all of that is now done I'm feeling much much happier about that so that's good and given that my back garden looks like the Somme <laughs> I think it was a good move to come here and do something in the front my little workroom lights are looking really pretty from out here